All right, let's turn back now to the weather where it's starting to finally feel. I think it is officially fall, right? Like yes. yesterday was the last day of summer. Today's fall. It feels like fall out there. Yeah, I mean, listen, if you love a hoodie or, a, you know, a light jacket and uh, cool, refreshing weather, then this weather is going to be really for you because we have that classic fall weather right on schedule here after a warm summer finish to your Saturday. All right, let's take a look at our weather headlines as we break down the upcoming week for you overnight tonight. If you're out late tonight, don't be surprised if you have to flick the windshield wipers a few times here, some patchy drizzle, kind of a gloomy night ahead despite the partial clearing that we're seeing right now. It's an on and off shower week here, not a washout. None of the showers look that heavy duty, but there will be umbrella weather here for much of the week. So have that in your bag or back pocket and the tropics are going to get really busy here, especially later on in the week. I do want to hit on that really quickly. There's about an 80% shot of this becoming a named storm system. Anywhere from New Orleans to Florida's Big Ben needs to be on alert. This could be a powerful hurricane as we get later in the week. So that's out there. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that for you, of course, here. As we take a look at our rainfall chances, nothing to do with the hurricane. This is just a unsettled pattern here. Slight chances for rain at times, higher chances for rain. I think Wednesday going to be the wettest day around here. First alert radar quiet for now. Wasn't quiet overnight to not, or overnight last night. Those thunderstorms that moved on through here brought a nice soaking of rain, nearly two inches in Woodlawn, Glen Burnie a little over an inch and a half, Annapolis an inch and a half, Essex over an inch, Baltimore at the Inner Harbor here a little over an inch of rain. And now what we have is cloudy or cool weather. Now with the easterly flow and the bay water still high, coastal flooding still a big concern in Anne Arundel County and in the Annapolis area. Coastal flood warning goes through Tuesday at 5 a.m. 62 degrees tonight, as you can see, temperatures most of this evening in the middle to upper 60s. We're in your neighborhood and on your corner tomorrow in Hartford County. Look at this, upper 60s for highs from Whiteford over to Jarrettsville. Pleasant Hills here, 68 degrees. We take you down to Howard County. Not much change temperatures. Upper 60s here from Glen Elg over to Simpsonville and across the state, low 70s here for your high. Notice we do have a couple of afternoon showers here, maybe for the kids at the bus stop. Not a huge storm system, but worthy of a small umbrella. Here's your first alert seven days, 71 on Monday, 70 degrees on Tuesday, Wednesday. We want to highlight that day because that could be the busiest day in terms of showers and thunderstorms. You can see some of the heavier rain there. Thursday, 81 degrees, still a chance of rain. Friday, 80 degrees. And then next weekend, we'll watch that tropical system along the Gulf Coast. If we get any rain from it, looks like it should be gone for Ravens Sunday night football next weekend. That's a big deal around here at M&T Bank Stadium. We'll be right back.